New gun legislation would ban anyone convicted of a hate crime from buying a gun for 10 years. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Adrian Moore. I'm Sam Shane. Current law bans criminals convicted of felonies from owning guns, but the Disarm Hate Act would apply to misdemeanor hate crimes. So, is the bill punishing petty crimes? CBS 13's Lamore Abrams is getting answers. Well, anti gun groups tell me people convicted of hate crimes should not be able to walk into a gun shop and get their hands on a gun. But gun shop owners tell me the Disarm Hate Act unfairly targets people convicted of petty crime. <laughs> Charleston, Orlando, San Bernardino. It doesn't matter where the shooting happens. We need to do something. We need to do something now. Assemblyman Reggie Jones Sawyer says the motive is often the same hate. We always understood it, but it's risen to a level that I've never seen um, ever. Joan Sawyer says hate crimes are precursors to more serious crimes. And he says he can curb gun violence by targeting people convicted of misdemeanor hate crimes. We decided to go in, close that loop. To prohibit, to prohibit them from having a firearm. The Disarm Hate Act bans anyone convicted of a hate crime from owning a gun for 10 years after the conviction. The bill would take away gun rights for anyone convicted of vandalizing places of worship or committing a crime against someone based on their race, religion, gender, sexual orientation, gender identity, or disability. Everything is written so broad that it, it Sooner or later, we're not going to be able to walk down the street. Josh Deezer of Just Guns in Sacramento worries the law would be applied to petty crime, like someone shouting a racial slur. I mean, we're, what is, are you actively picketing in front of a church? Are you just saying, hey, I don't, you know, I don't like Hillary Clinton? The FBI says hate crimes have surged in recent years. Now, California lawmakers say they're seeking harsher penalties before it happens again. The bill passed in the assembly with zero opposition and now heads to a public safety hearing where both sides plan to show up fired up. All right, Lamore, thank you for that. From Sacramento tonight, I want to